My name is Tony Ayres. I am a Chinese-Australian filmmaker and I was born in Macau in 1961. Um, my mother ended up there. Uh, she was born in Changchun in the north of China and she ended up there because uh, she worked as a nightclub hostess. She actually had an amazing story. I ended up going to film school and making a, a film about my mother, my sister and I called The Long Ride and that was pretty much the first thing that I ever did as a filmmaker. It won the AFI Award for Best Television Movie or Miniseries that year. It won the Writers Guild Award for Best uh, Short Script. And um, it kind of launched me as a filmmaker. And I was the Chinese filmmaker of my generation. <laughs> Which is ironic because I didn't actually speak Chinese. <laughs> and um, Because my mother didn't believe that I should learn Chinese because she wanted me to assimilate. When I first started in filmmaking, I was one of the few Chinese Australian filmmakers around and I kind of expected other generations to follow soon after. But um, what surprised me was that for a long time they didn't. And it's only really been in the last five or six years that I've noticed um, new generations of Chinese Australian filmmakers emerging and, uh, and exciting new generations, people who've got different kinds of stories to tell from my story, um, uh, people who, whose tastes range from quite art house to very mainstream commercial to uh, genre. Um. Benjamin Law. I'm a journalist, screenwriter and author. I'm also the creator of the Family Law TV series and a co-writer for that series on SBS. In the mid-1970s, my mum, Jenny, and my dad, Danny, were living in Hong Kong and they moved to uh, Queensland's Sunshine Coast, which was an interesting choice that always kind of baffled me growing up because it's surrounded by beaches, beautiful water. Neither of my parents can swim. And that's where they had five children. In terms of my career, I have to say um, my ethnic heritage has actually been an asset overall. Later on, when I was telling my family story through my book and then later pitched as a TV show, it kind of helped that Australian television was just so kind of stayed and white and same same for such a long time. The fact that we were even presenting an Asian Australian family to screen made it revolutionary. Um, and it was really, really great to finally make a show that I wish that I had when I was growing up.